Do you hear about the new Scientology movie? Very curious about this. It's a Paul Thomas Anderson Scientology related movie. It's been bought by the Weinstein Company. And the I guess that the working title is the it was the master, but now it's kind of without a name. The worldwide distribution rights have been bought by the Weinstein Company. There was actually a bidding war for this. And it it basically is saying there will be a global audience for the film. Philip Seymour Hoffman is slated to star as the man who creates a religion. Mm -hmm. In 1952, Joaquin Phoenix as a second in command. And the um, I don't know if this was originally part of the story or not, but the new script has Philip Seymour Hoffman as a shaken war veteran who creates the religion, which, according to Deadline, catches on with other lost souls. Now, if we look at the history of Scientology, L. Ron Hubbard, science fiction author, founder of Scientology, served in the Navy in World War II. He founded the Scientology belief system in 1952. So it seems pretty clear that this is going to be, I, I predict the Scientology community will be up in arms over this. No doubt. And, uh, or perhaps they'll wait to see it first, or, or perhaps they'll want a, no. a copy of the script. Were people waiting to first see Passion of the Christ before blasting it and saying that the movie was whatever? Not at all. Even though that movie seemed to cater a little bit more to the believer, so to speak. Mm. Whereas this seems like it will be more critical. Tons of email coming in about my story on, on two bonus shows ago when I was actually recruited by a Scientologist. He tried to sell me books. He made numerous attempts to drag me into the Church of Scientology. And I, I tell the story on the bonus show. So we'll just say that. DavidPackman.com slash membership. Make sure you hear that. Uh, one thing we were talking about related to Scientology was why are there so many what we call extremists or literal believers? And it was an interesting point that was, what that was made, which is that I think Natan made it actually during the bonus show, which is with something like Christianity, it's been around for so long that we are now in the phase where there are kind of the casual believers. In other words, you might just be participating in the culture of it out of habit, tradition, tradition, so mm -hmm. on and so forth, but you don't literally believe the teachings. Whereas Scientology being so new, if you're choosing to get in there, you really must literally believe. And I think that that's where a lot of this comes from. Natan wants to get in on this as well. Yeah, that's true what you're saying, but it's also true that the religion is old enough now so that there's second generation Scientologists. So your parents were, pre were already Scientologists. Like apparently... Giovanni Ribisi, the actor. Oh, and, no, don't tell me Beck, he's in it. The musician. Apparently, uh, apparently Giovanni Ribisi was, um, when he was born, the woman, the midwife or whatever, was, uh, was Beck's mother in like a Scientology birth. The musician Beck. Yeah, the musician Beck, Beck's mother. You know, I like Giovanni Ribisi and Beck, but this is really changing my, we have a Beck song in one of our, uh, one of our, one of our clips. Yeah, there's been a lot of uh, speculation that Scientology is kind of like a club for the rich and famous. <laughs> uh, Believe me, the guy who recruited me was neither rich nor famous. But he did claim to have performed many miracles, though. A lot of a lot of actors, a lot of musicians uh, are Scientologists. A yeah. lot of people who have a lot of money. You know, I, I was reading some of the comments about this movie. I don't know if it was on Huffington Post or where it was. And, and one person said, all religions are fair game for films as long as it doesn't descend into bigotry. And then there was a follow-up which said, Scientology isn't a religion, it's a scam. How can one be bigoted against a scam? And it's, it's incredibly expensive to become a high-level Scientologist. Did you know that it's literally just tons of money for the books and yes, the study? Yes, I know. It's incredible. It's a big moneymaker. Yeah. All, well... And L. Ron Hubbard knew that. He wrote about it, in most, fact. Most religions are big money makers, For sure. Um, Even though you would, uh, well, there's a whole other can of worms we could open up, Lewis, about someone who, you know, we can't even really go into it. But I think there's something that we're working on for the show. There's someone we know who was offered a lot of money by one of the major religions to not talk about something. It's, he's currently not at liberty to talk about it, but we're, we're working on when he will be. And I, I'm telling you, it's going to be a fascinating story. Yeah, and I'm a big PTA fan. Uh, very excited about this movie. It seems everything he does is, is better than the, the last thing he did, and uh, I think it'll be amazing if it actually goes through. All right, Lewis, big time into Paul Thomas Anderson. Let's big take time. a break. Still more to talk about. If you're on Twitter, donateyouraccount.com. 
slash David Pakman Show. Donate your Twitter followers to us. And uh, yeah, that's that's about all I can say. Back after this, we'll talk about the Koch brothers trying to buy professors. You're not going to want to miss it. The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com.